This is my review and unboxing for the February 2015 Love of Food box. This box is $10 a month plus $2 shipping, but you can try it completely free. Um, I think you do pay a shipping charge, $2, $2.99, something like that. If you subscribe for three months or longer, um, you will not pay any shipping on your box. So, that's how the box comes. I have opened it, took pictures of everything, so I can try items on camera so I can tell you if I like it or not. So the theme for this month is Mardi Gras, very fitting. And inside it tells you everything in the box. It also tells you if an item is um, non-GMO, gluten-free, vegan. Um, they have a few others that I don't see. Um, so pretty informative. And then there's always like some kind of advertising for different sales that they're doing over here. All right, so first thing in the box are some Mardi Gras beads. And pretty fun. And you don't have to do anything lewd to earn them. Um, next, let's do the chips because I like chips. These are from Boulder Canyon. I love Boulder Canyon chips, but I have not had this flavor. This is in olive oil. They're kettle cooked. So I'll check them out. All right, and they look like a normal kettle chip. These are really good. Honestly, I don't really taste too much difference from these than the regular plain kettle chips. I mean, there's like a hint of olive oil in there, but it's nothing strong. So, I like them. Let's do the other chips. These are from Snickety. And these are baked mac and cheese puffs made with real cheese. Let's look at the information guide and see what it says about them. They're non-GMO and gluten-free. And, oh, the potato chips a minute ago were non-GMO, gluten-free, and vegan. So, all right, that's what it looks like. These are really good. Um, they taste actually like that, um, have you ever had like that puffed popcorn they sell in stores? Very similar to that, you know, only kind of cheesy. So, those are good. All right, then we have a packet of Mambana and looks like hot chocolate. Traditional hot chocolate and created by French master chocolatiers using 32% chocolate, one sip and you'll float away to the French Quarter. So obviously you can't try this right now, but looks interesting. This is Dosetto Petit Lemon Wafer Bites. No high fructose corn syrup. And they have a creamy center wrapped inside a crispy wafer. What's your primer? All right, that is what they look like. They definitely smell like lemon. They are pretty good. They are, they taste like, similar to maybe a lemon meringue pie. I mean, you know, in crunchy wafer form, but pretty good. They have a very strong lemon taste. Um, that's very, very noticeable. This is Tony Trocher's Original Creole Seasoning. And this is MSG free, and you can use it in your different dishes. Um, it is also vegan, so there's two little packets, so probably enough for two different dishes, depending on how much you like to use. All right, these are Toffee Crunch Topple Creams by Delicatante. I think that's um, how you say it. And it's a combination of butter toffee and fine milk chocolate. So, uh, I'm actually not a toffee. Um, I don't really eat toffee. So, I'm gonna actually save these for my husband. Cause he, I think, will really like these. All right. And this is Divine Milk Chocolates. There are two of these. Mm. And it is a fair trade chocolate company. I have actually had this brand of chocolate before and it is really good, so I'm not gonna eat it right now. Here we have Rise Protein Bar. And it is gluten free, all natural, just has three ingredients. Hmm. It looks tasty. Let's see what it has in it. So this consists of almonds, honey, and whey protein. 
Huh. That actually looks pretty good. I'll take a bite and try it. So that's what the bar looks like. Um, it actually tastes really good. Um, I really hate protein bars, but I will actually eat this. Um, it's, you can definitely taste the honey and um, it has a nuttiness to it. It's really good. It's very filling. I mean, I took a bite, but um, if I definitely ate the whole bar, it would be very filling. All right. And last thing are some coupons. It's 50% off one bag of Boulder Canyon snacks, which is awesome because I love their chips. And this is, oh, Rise Bar. Get 20% off your order and free shipping with the coupon code LOVE. So you're free to use that as well. And then pork clouds, 100 calories cooked in olive oil, no carbs. And if you use the code reinvent1 at checkout, you can save 10%. That's good through March 31st. My husband actually loves these. These were in a previous box, um, and we have actually bought them twice from the Love Food Store. Once for him and then once for a coworker, um, because he fell in love with them. So those are really awesome. If you haven't had these, you like pork rinds, try them because they're really good. And that is everything in the box. So. Um, overall, pretty good box. I like the Boulder Canyon chips and the mac and cheese puffs. The lemon wafer bites are good. They're very lemony, so I definitely would not eat the entire bag in one sitting. I don't even know if that's a serving size. It actually is a serving size, but just a few would be enough for me. The protein bar was surprisingly good. The hot chocolate will be... Um, somebody will eat that in a nearby future, and I, my husband will try those. I like the divine chocolates and the Creole seasoning. I might try to cook. I'm not a huge cook, so I might try to make something with that. I don't know. Um, but overall, pretty good box. It's only ten dollars a month, and they do have a point system. So if you review your products, you can earn points to buy full size products in the Love with Food store. So if you want to try Love with Food for free, click the link below. Again, you'll just pay shipping. And you can see my full written review down below along with my master list of coupons and my free subscription boxes. Oh, and there's the bead. Thanks so much for watching and have a great day.